Hello everyone, welcome back to Phasmophobia. So I just did my daily Phasmophobia and uh, got my challenges out of the way. But I feel like playing it more. Clearly I need to punish myself in order to purge these, you know, these feelings of continued play. So we will go ahead like and... There are out there in need of help. We will do the most annoying maps. Asylum. Let's begin. And I'm just going to play till I get frustrated. Blow out a candle. Motion sensor. Crucifix. Donald Martinez. Where's the breaker? Be, be kind, game. It's kind of right at the front. Oh. Like right at the front. Okay. Well, let's go ahead. Turn that on. So I've had so much frustration in asylums with getting like a little indication of where the ghost is and then not being able to find it. So many times. We're gonna just immediately place out some sound sensors. Just so we can begin eliminating areas. trying to listen for the ghost. I'm not hearing a thing. That's the breaker. some reason those did not line up the way I thought they were going to. <laughs> I, I think I might, might have gotten turned about. So I genuinely think the best way to find a ghost in this map is just to go room by room. And, uh, yeah, we got them quite a little bit out of sync. But it doesn't matter, because there's no, no, no sound at all. Do have a little bit of activity. No, it would have stepped or something by now if it was in that radius. The motion sensors have very small radius, so let's take a look at our cameras real quick. Let's see if there's any obvious orbs. Or open doors, or that kind of thing. Where is that? Oh, that's this camera right here. 
right? Yeah, now it turned off. Okay, nothing there. Still no sounds. Let's put a couple more sounds out. We'll just put them in the in the couple wings now. We're bleeding a bit of sanity, but that's okay. As long as your sanity is like above 80, you don't really have to worry about sanity. I know these motion these these sound sensors should be bad. They should not help. But I guess I'm bad. I'm not certain that I will be able to pick up the sounds. So I'm relying on them to help. I certainly know that I've had times where I've heard a door open like right here and I'm saying, oh, it's got to be right around here somewhere. And it turns out that it's downstairs on the other side of the asylum just because the, the directional audio isn't very good. That sounds like a door. Right? I wonder where I was. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna do my plan though. I'm gonna go ahead and lay these out. Maybe I shouldn't. Ah. We'll see what this one says, and then maybe we'll switch switch our tactic. Bit of activity about when we heard the door. So probably there was something. But yeah, in the areas we've covered, there is no nothing going on. I can't help but note that it's called the left corridor when it's on the right side. I think that's a legacy of when the map used to be upside down and you entered from the top. Certainly that's confused me a time or two. Let's go ahead. Um, I, I heard something when I was standing right here and it was sounding like a distant door opening. So it's either way down here or like downstairs over on that side. I'm going to go ahead, I'll gra grab a candle, and we'll just go hunting for it. Oh, we got the room. The very far, very distant corner of this place. Let's just look around here first real quick and see if there's like a board. Although my understanding is there's like 20 different places the board could spawn on this map. All these little utility closets. And every room could have a bone in it. Every room. So... 
got a ghost in this uh, little conference room. It's a nice conference room. Like this is a really big, big, uh, big table. Would have been tricky getting it through that door. You can see it's segmented, of course, but you know, still. Donuts. There we go. That's what I was waiting for. Just a little sound. Go ahead and blow out my candle. Ghost. Quit playing with it. Either blow it out or put it down. It just threw the candle twice. So this is about as far as you can ever possibly have to walk in order to get to the ghost room. That's fun. <laughs> this is going to be a... I, I'm not going to be able to um, leave my, my flashlight behind either. Also, we'll have to bring the items down two at a time. It does seem nicely situated in that room rather than in this hallway. Which is a plus. But it's going to be a long one. And this is entirely why I do not like playing this asylum on solo. It just takes too long. Too much walking back and forth. And the ghost could be making a whole bunch of racket down there, and we would hear nothing right here. It's too far. Not unless you're already down in the corridor. We're going to walk through here a lot. Let's go ahead and turn the light on. One plus of that is that if the ghost starts hunting and we're right here, I don't care if it's a revenant or anything, it's not going to catch us. Okay. Has not blown out the candle. These are such horrible things. Motion sensor and crucifix. It's making me bring more items down there that are not evidence items. Feel free to zip forward two minutes when I'm back at the room. I wish I could do that in real life. You know, the stairwells are not identical. I just realized that. For some reason, when I was placing those motion sensors are brought home to me, they're both open from the same side, which means that they ruin the building's symmetry. So like the, the, the building is mirrored across the central point um, where the truck enters, where you enter the building, where the truck is, but except for the stairwells. The stairwells are the same direction, so they open up on the wrong wall on one side. Oh, it looks dark in there. Did you put out my candle finally? Good for you. This is not the right book. Write in my book. How old are you? Write in my book. Adult ghost. I should note it, otherwise I'll forget that I said it. Thanks, ghost. Actually, that might have been a ghost event. Is this still on? No, it was the ghost trying to break off. Never mind. 
And it was the ghost. It wasn't that the breaker overloaded. Otherwise, that would have been in the down position. But it's fine, because the breaker is right here. But you de I'm definitely getting the impression that this is a ghost that wants to mess with me. It's a, um, it's not one of the ones that's just running around flickering lights and things, trying to communicate or whatever, or scare me away. This ghost is trying to prevent me from being able to do what I want to do. It's turning off my lights. It's flickering. Um, it's knocking down my candles. It's uh, turning off the breakers. It's trying to interfere. That's quite a quite a spike right there. That looks EMF 5 -y, That first bit right here. That looks EMF 5 -y. Again. Well. Let's bring... Okay. Let's see if it is EMF 5 -y. Then that would mean it's a Jin or an Oni. And that would mean that we're going to get... Fingerprints don't matter. Orbs would matter. Writing would matter. So... I was going to bring fingerprints, but I could have touched the door, but I think instead we'll go ahead and bring a, a video camera. And a motion sensor. You know, if it's a gin, you wouldn't expect it to have um, turned off its own breaker. I don't think. Like I know a mare will not turn on, will not turn on a light. So do gins turn off off their breaker? I know at one point they did not. But no, I know, I know at one point they did because they didn't care. It, it didn't. It mattered. It did not matter what the ghost type was in terms of breaker usage. But since then they've added things. So who knows? Door moving. It wrote, it's an Oni. Not that it matters, but we'll do a proper release. And I'm going to put this like right there. Maybe that will get it better. Well, wait a minute. We don't know that's EMF 5. We don't have that confirmed. So if all we know is spirit box and writing, then that would be potentially a spirit, an oni, or a yokai. EMF is Oni. Fingerprints would be Spirit. And Orbs would be Yokai. So we still should set this up. Okay, thanks, Ghost. That's exactly what I was saying I needed to do. Very considerate of you. But I think it's an Oni. To the point where if we go back up and there's not Orbs, I'm going to say Oni. rather than come down here with a UV light. Just because it's quite a walk. We've been here 20 minutes already. I think that was just me walking around, maybe? That noise? So it's in this area, right there. That's weird! 
Did I, I didn't drop anything. Did it come up and try to move something nearby me, maybe? It turned the light back on. The jerk. <sighs> there, we got motion sensor. I heard the beep. Still says there's some sounds there in the left corridor. So this one is what it's referring to. What could be going on there? That's like behind the stairwell. That's really bizarre. Makes me nervous. We know the ghost is way down there. That's not me. Oh, now I don't even like it. Okay. We got orbs. Never mind. It's a yokai. <laughs> I was so convinced it was an oni. But I was wrong. Uh... <sighs> I don't care. I don't want to get the last objective. Let's just go. Like, we could have walked down with two cruci crucifixes and it would have hunted Welcome us by the way back. Good money, I have to admit. You get, the, the, um, the ghosts give you good money in the, um, higher difficult, higher, larger places. 42 interactions in 20 minutes, so that's a decent rate of interactions per minute. Especially considering we spent five minutes not in the house, not in the thing. Only two minutes in the ghost room. I guess that's right. Just because it takes so long for us to go back and forth. This statistic is a little strange to me. The light and dark was 10 minutes, 10 minutes. Because I thought we were in the, in the light more than that. I don't know. So. We just did an asylum. That's the least fun Our map. Ready for you. How about a prison? That's the next least most fun. Solo, at least. All of these, all, all of the big maps are more fun when you have lots of people, because you can tell people to bring new stuff while you're walking. Ghost event: Escape the ghost, repel the ghost. Michael Anderson. So, prison is another one of those places where there's nowhere to hide. I mean, you can kind of get into a cell and hope. And um, that's probably the best thing to do. But, it's not, it's one of the ones where it's harder to get away. Because you're in sight so much. The ghost is almost always in one of the cell blocks or in one of these starting areas. But we'll go ahead and check around. I just expect to end up in a cell block. Uh, what did it say? Reports of violence? I don't remember. I think I said you're going in blind. Oh, uh, where's the breaker? The breaker is upstairs. Yeah, okay. We'll turn on the breaker. Then we'll go and look in the cell blocks and see what moved. But, like, almost every time I'm here, it's a cell block.
I had a couple library ghosts. Like, like right when the prison was released, it felt like there was a lot more ghosts in several different places. Like, I had lots of rooms up here that were ghosts. I had the, um, I had the little mess area, the little kitchen area above that, the security area above the mess area. But I think that there must have been, like, they must have found that some areas were buggy. And rather than fixing them, they just turned the ghost off in those areas. That's my impression, at least. That's why the ghost seems to be in some places more often than others. It's because as they discover bugs that they can't fix, they, they, um, they just disable those areas. They need to do that more in the asylum, I'd say. A door opened, so I am wrong. It's not a cell block. I think. Not that door, at least. It could be the door in the cell block, though. Not that one. Anything going on? So after my big spiel about how it's always one of these rooms, it's not one of those rooms. Let's check to see if it's the library. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to assume it's upstairs somewhere. And we just walk by it. Not the library. Not the security office. Did I open that? Let me just check the store to the cell. No, it's closed. Okay, wait a minute. That sounded like it was that way. So it's upstairs that way, I think. Maybe. But did I open this? I thought I opened one way down there. Yeah, I haven't been here. Here it is. It's in the visitation room. Somewhere. I open that door. I could swear though I heard a door open that way. So, who knows. Did I do that? Or did you do that? I might have done that myself. I heard a step right here. No, it's messing with the door over there. Okay. I could swear I heard a step right there, though. I could have put my flashlight down. Oh, well. Decent activity. Maybe five. Apparently, we had a ghost event. I didn't see it, but the game detected one. There's some lights flashing outside. Yeah, none of these none of these are anywhere near the place except for the first one. That one. The reception area. So we think it's right here somewhere in this visitation room, right off reception. It might be on either side of these. To get to either side of these classes, you have to go all the way around. It opened that door and that door. And this door. So these three doors. Let's bring let's see if we can narrow it down. One way or another. So 
I've seen the ghost in here quite a bit. But not today. Is the light on in here? The light's on in there. How old are you? How old are you? What do you want? That's quite far from that room over there. Huh. I didn't turn the light on. How old are you? How old are you? How old are you? How old are you? Hi. Well, I don't have a camera. Just go away now, please. How old are you? You're not a kid, you got an axe. It's not even cold in here. <sighs> I just want to find a cold room. I know the ghost appeared right here. It's pretty damning. But I want to find a cold room. Okay, this is where I think I found, found the coldest temperature so far. What about on this side? This side's cold too. Okay. So it's this little area right here. How old are you? How old are you? How old are you? Are you friendly? Are you friendly? Maybe it's right here too. No, this is hot. <laughs> it certainly sounds like it's right here. You know, it might be a confused ghost because it's in a room with a wall in it. That visitation room. Like, I might be able to go anywhere at once, like, to get to this side of the room or this side of the room. Well, at least it didn't, didn't make us run around so much. Alright, so we have Spirit Box. Quite a hit to our sanity. Let's just go ahead and sanity back up. Because I don't want to get hunted. I don't even know where to throw the book. But I'm gonna I'm gonna bring it around to that little area over there. That door, right? Okay. 
Okay, given the number of doors, it could, it's probably touched right now, and we have not seen a single fingerprint. I'm thinking it's not a fingerprint ghost. No, seems unlikely. How are the temps? Just going for a wander over there. I didn't say anything. Like it's sure stepping hard. Normally you only hear that repeated steps over and over again after you do salt. Uh, we don't have any other evidence yet. Let's go ahead and bring a camera in. And what? Another book? Oh, I hate when the ghost place is really indefinite. You know? It's one of those rooms over there that's, that's in the coldish range, but it's wandering around, it's opening doors everywhere. Turn the light on way over there for some reason. It's a roaming, roamer ghost. Okay, one camera right here. Now put another book right here. Pretty silent since we sanity. Oh, if I were to make a single change to this game, and you know, I've been saying I'd make many of them, I'd make many changes. I have many ideas, but if there was one that's the most important, is make the default movement speed the same as what holding shift does. Like, why would I ever walk around without holding shift? Like this. I always have shift. It just makes you go a little bit faster. And there's no harm to it. And so my pinky gets really, really tired over time. My poor pinky. <sighs> no orbs there. Can bring a motion sensor over to try to narrow it down. Or just like let me press caps lock so that it auto um, auto runs rather than having to hold shift all the time. It's damn annoying. Got an EMF2 going on. I'm just gonna put this right here. I honestly don't think the ghost comes over here. It did have an event there, but I don't think that's a normal roaming area. But we shall see.
Oh, wrong camera. I kind of wish there was more of this. Like, I kind of feel like this part of the game is undermined right now. The whole running around, placing cameras, looking at your cameras, and um, test, looking at your sensors, that kind of thing. It doesn't seem to be necessary, and I think that's a shame. It's kind of like the Five Nights at Freddy's games, where you don't really need to use the cameras. Even though the game is about using the cameras. Hey, we got writing. Good deal. Leave or die. That's so mean. I'm just trying to have a good time here, ghost. Well, it hasn't stepped there yet. Oh, I know. We haven't heard it because it's not one of the objectives. But I haven't heard it step there, but we wouldn't know if we weren't in audible range. There we go. And we got orbs, too. Good deal. Okay, so orbs and writing. Another yokai. Makes me wonder why we didn't get hunted. We were going around talking to it the entire time. Like the chance on for, to uh, for a yokai to uh, to attack on on talking to it must be pretty low. Otherwise, we'd be getting hunted all the time. I'm curious if we can see the orbs on this side too. Doesn't look like it. So I bet the two sides of the visitation count as two different rooms. In, like, the ghost internal path thing or whatever. Anyway, I think I'm just gonna leave. I don't want to get hunted by you, okay? One left. So we did two of the worst places to go. So, though. The least fun. Not even that difficult. <laughs> Three ghost events. I knew about one of them. We saw the ghost appear. Again, three minutes in ghost room. Low interaction of account. But not too low. So now we get to a high school. And I'm going to treat this a lot like the asylum. We're, we're going to go out and place sensors. But I would be totally cool with that, like if the if this thing, the little five minute indicator that you don't get in um that you don't get in in professional difficulty, if that was a five minute counter until the ghost began doing stuff, and so you had to just spend those five minutes doing the best thing you could do, which would be running around and putting up sensors and things. So. Smudge stick, crucifix, ghost event. Same thing as from last time, right? Thomas. Breakers underneath the right stairs. Alright. Like I said, we're gonna we're gonna go with sensors.
with a little bit of overlap, I guess. Oh, object fell. We'll see if the sensors picked it up. I'm pretty sure it's on this side though, because I heard an object fall. Let's just check a couple places. I have been told that the Ouija board can spawn in here. I don't know where. And I don't think it has today. Okay. And it can also spawn in that room across the way and in the gym. I don't think I've ever seen it in the gym, but you know, I'm willing to believe. Like right here, I've been told. But not today. And I have no idea where in the gym, just apparently in the gym is somewhere it can spawn. Probably back there. under the bleachers. You can't climb it. Well, no Ouija board today. Or it could be like on one of these little side areas, I bet. I could see that. Let's go see what our sensors are hearing. So my impression was it was on the right side and I didn't I could not tell whether it was up or down. It sounded like an object falling. It's doing stuff, but we have no sound. So my thought is probably it's upstairs on the right. Maybe. Let's go and look for look around for it. I've been misled before though, where we think that it's over on this side and then it turns out to be like in some, we hear a phone way over in that direction. A little cold still. I heard another object fall. Is that here or is it upstairs? I can't tell. It sounded like it was right here. Are you here? No, it must have been upstairs. But like I'm saying, really poor directional audio. If there was a, it sounded like there was a phone right in front of me. It must be upstairs. Probably right above that room. Because I keep on drawing, having my attention drawn back to it. There we go. I'm wrong, it's in this room. So, reasonably chill, but not freezing. That was a curious noise. What was that?
And that was not in this room. That was in this room. Hi, ghost. So which which one's yours? That one or this one? This room's also pretty chill. But no, no, this one. Okay, it's not this one. Even though I'm hearing steps right here. It's just not cold enough, though. flashlight here. Just have a poor viewing experience on these stairs. So it seems likely it's in that one room. Kind of wish I brought a camera instead of um, the EMF. But, oh well. Such is life. So it's been touching doors. Let's get a UV. And we'll get a spirit box. And a book. Those are always pretty good evidences. Though you kind of want to get the camera out as soon as possible so you can... Um, adjust it over and over again if you need to. Maybe I should do that more often. But I kind of like bringing the UV back on your non-camera trip, non-flashlight trip, because you still kind of have a flashlight. It's just kind of a dinky one. Like, it will, it will let you know if the ghost is hunting. How old are you? What do you want? How old are you? Are you friendly? How old are you? What do you want? Are you friendly? Writing. How old are you? What do you want? Are you friendly? Fingerprints. Writing fingerprints and EMF five, I'm assuming. Now, what else did I bring up? I brought the book, the UV, and the spirit. Okay. Well, wait a minute. Fingerprints, writing, so a spirit or revenant or hantu. So EMF would be revenant, spirit box would be spirit. Hantu would be orbs. So I guess I should bring up orbs rather than... I was thinking I could just sit there and try to make it... Give me an EMF-5. But no, we'll bring up a camera. But that will mean another trip back down to look at the camera too.
Maybe the board will just have a very obvious CMF5 on it. We'll be able to just leave. Because a Revenant is still a ghost that can kill you in the high school. Because of those long, long corridors. As long as it maintains line of sight on you, it'll get faster and faster. And it's already faster than you to begin with. No obvious CMF. I'll put two cameras down. This is good though. Every now and then it's just good to punish yourself with the with the maps you don't like. It keeps things from going stale. It makes you appreciate the good things in life, like Tanglewood. And Ridgeview, and Edgefield, and Willow Street. And Bleasdale. I like Bleasdale. Grafton is more like this. It's less fun. You threw my EMF reader, I'm pretty sure. Interesting. Give me a sign. Give us a sign. Are you here? Are you here? Sounds like it's over here. Give us a sign. I'm just, I'm too far from it. That was exciting. I'm so surprised we are alive. Like, I thought I almost closed myself in the ghost room, and I was thinking, is it here? If it's not here, we can hide here. If it's if it's outside, we're dead. We have to. We can't go out into the hallway where the ghost is. If it's a revenant. But somehow, even though we failed to get that door shut. Well, so it's already chain hunting. Like that—that that must have been a hunt as soon as it could possibly hunt, because we didn't—we did not linger. 
and getting back outside. What is our sanity? I didn't, I felt it was like in the 70s when we went in last time. No, we uh we we dropped it quite a bit. First floor right corridor. <laughs> it came down the stairs. <sighs> Do I wanna say that's EMF? Well let's take a look at, at the cameras. Nope, we got orbs. Closed your door, mean. But we have orbs, it doesn't matter. So it's a Hantu. A Hantu's thing is that they're they're slow, right? I think they're like the least least scary ghost because they, they you can walk away from them. Okay, well, I don't think I'm gonna go back in. I think we'll just leave. Assuming the breaker's on. If the breaker's on, you can walk away from them. But if the breaker's off, they go fast. Maybe that's why we lived. I should not be alive. It should have got us that time. Back. There's some jobs ready for you. Like, we were on the other side of the ghost room when a hunt began. And we were... You know? That was the weird thing. Because we were in the ghost room asking it to do EMF. And suddenly the phone rang in the room next to us. And then the phone rang again in the room next to us. Like it interrupted its own phone phone interaction to do another phone interaction. And then it hunted. And we were like pressed against the wall trying to um, trying to see if we could get the EMF through the wall. That was a weird hunt. I didn't see it. I, I did not see where the ghost was. I think it, I, it couldn't, it must not have started in that room. It must have seen me briefly in the corridor because it did see me. It did. I, I I heard the footsteps, the the um, the heartbeat. That's, that's you know the ghost saw you. But yeah, two ghost events. Did, did, saw one of them. Did not see the other. Decent ratio. Pretty good, especially considering our time inside. So yeah, that's a decent ghost. But uh, yeah, that was um. That was a whole bunch of not very fun ghosts. <laughs> I think I think I'm gonna go back to my my more comfortable little Willow Street and Edgeville, Edgefield and Ridgeview. Those are fun. So thank you everyone for watching. Until next time.